resentment. Let's talk about it. So resentment, first of all, is simply draining. It It's like um, having like a, a pool or a bucket and no matter what you do, there's this hole at the bottom of it and it just keeps leaching out of the bottom. So it's almost like no matter how many good things happen, how many ways you try to convince yourself everything is fine, when there is resentment present, it it's like you just have this ongoing drain on your energy that just keeps on going and makes everything you do, even the things that aren't involving the person or situation that you're um, that you're uh, resenting, um, even those situations become harder to enjoy because it's like a little piece of you is always looking over here, looking over here and stuck in that resentful place. Really what resentment is, is it represents an inner conflict with yourself. So it means that you have a part of you that is really fucking mad at something, at the situation, at something somebody said, at something somebody did, whatever. But you're also, like those things wouldn't necessarily be a problem if you had changed the situation, if you had done something different, if you did something different. Um, there are ways that this could have been resolved, but another part of you doesn't want to do those resolution processes, whether it's because you're afraid to, you're afraid of consequences, you're afraid of the unknown, all these totally understandable fears um, that are going on. But like, I would say that there is no, there is no conflict that isn't an inner conflict, right? If you 100% knew what you wanted to do, you would feel closure on the thing. Okay, so it means that you have something inside of you, uh, at least two parts of you, they, oftentimes it's more complicated than that, that are conflicted about the situation, either how you feel about it or what to do about it, right? So it can help to really get honest with yourself about what you want and, and in multiple directions. Um, resentment makes it so that you just can't be nice to people without, without making, building more resentment because you're forcing yourself to be nice to people. Um, but you have this, like, again, this inner gnawing, it's kind of like gnawing at your ankle and you're trying to ignore it in order to be nice. Like it's a very consuming sort of feeling, right? And is it even, if, even if you're not ready to admit it, if you, if you have resentment in your system, it can be really hard to feel rested. It can be really hard to enjoy anything because there are things that are, are gnawing at your ankles like that. Um, right. Uh, how do you resolve it? I mean, first of all, you have to start getting honest. <laughs> and then it can be the hardest thing. Um, you can do it with yourself first. And even that can be scary. That's why I think it can help to have, like, sit yourself down and, and give these different parts of you their own individual voices. So um, you might sit down and, um, and write out, like, everything that you're that you're noticing about the thing I want this but I also want this I want this but I also want this the meditation guide that I have in my bio right now this is a style of meditation that I'm writing a book about um can help you map all of these things out like where you're feeling it how you're feeling it um what the words are if you're not like a really feeling person per se like you might just hear words and thoughts and like if you think about it these thoughts aren't necessarily ones that you came up with they might be coming from your past, your history, spirits, who knows, right? Um, and you might even just have like a, if you're more conceptual, you might have like a visual representation of the way that you're feeling. And all of that stuff, I make it really easy for you to like map it out on yourself. And just getting it out, getting it on paper and being really honest about it can go a long way towards resolving things. Because part of the issue, like I said before, is probably that you're not being honest with yourself and you're like, that motherfucker is fishy. I need, to, <laughs> I, I want to deal with people that are honest, right? Um, so you may be thinking, well, I, you know, okay, well, after I'm honest with myself, like, w what about them? What about the person that I'm resenting? What about the situation? Like, I can't be honest with them. It's too big of a risk. Totally understand that. Definitely been there before. We'll probably be there again. Um, so if you've worked it out with yourself, 
or you can't even get to that step, right? It can help to have help. That's one of the reasons there's such like a rise of therapists and coaches and all these things is because having somebody that is not involved in your situation can really, really help both to give you um, unbiased perspective and um, give you a sounding board for you to work out your own thoughts. A lot of times just having a friend sit down and you say, hey, I need to work some shit out. Can you just shut up and let me talk for 20 minutes and just like imagine the energy like going through your feet into the ground uh, for 20 minutes I'm just going to talk and I don't want any response because I'm really trying to work something out for myself that really works I used to run programs around that I promise um, so having space that where you're only letting energy out and you're not having to deal with energy coming at you is really helpful don't have any friends like that talk to a tree I'm serious it can work too um, and trees are really really great for grounding energy so if you can't tell them, um, there's also ways that you can control the controllables and make it easier for you to have a conversation with somebody. One is to identify what you actually want out of the conversation. I've made a few posts about this recently. Um, you, if you're going into a conversation that you're feeling worried about, you can definitely just be like, okay, well, again, be honest with myself. What is it that I actually want to get out of this? And if the answer is something like, I want them to say they're sorry, or I want them to change. I want them to do something. You have to keep going. You have to keep asking yourself questions until you come up with an answer um, that is something that is within your power to control. You can't control what other people's responses are. Now that's different. You can have all the desires, all the wants that you want and feel free to write those down too because that can be really helpful and illuminating and very satisfying to a very like passionate part of you to have their wants and desires recognized by you. And you could write down like what I want, want to happen, what I desire to happen are these things, right? But going into the conversation, you have to have it nailed down about what you want that is within your control. That might be, I want to um, try to stay calm during the conversation. I want to, um, I want to just ask, I want to ask for these things. Like these are the things that I want to ask for. That's within your control. You can ask for those things. You you can't control what kind of response that you get. I'm so sorry. I wish that you could. Believe me, I wish that you could. Um, so keep on asking yourself over and over, what do I want? And decide what the things are that are within your control. Like you can ask somebody to love you, um, but you can't control whether or not they say it back or do it in the way that you want, right? Um, and that that's my starter thing. Um, working helping people through grief and this works for breakups and this works for people that have died um that's something that i ask i mean i ask like how i ask them to describe the person in the situation and then i'm listening for all these like emotional hooks i call them where people are snagged on these parts where they, they they're holding resentment inside of them and we need to get to the bottom of that because it's this drag on you it's like an anchor like i said that's just draining your energy until you clear that out. So clearing resentments is a big part of my programming with people when they come to me to, to help resolve griefs, to help, heal, to help heal from breakups, to help heal from any big change that they're having in their lives. So um, if you want more help, reach out to me, book a session. Um, if you want that um, in my bio link, if you want that free meditation guide, go ahead and check that out. I hope this was helpful to you. So let me know in the comments, uh, especially if you got this far, that'd be awesome.